Hello. <clears throat> um, Neil and I are artists and we've been working for the last nine years on a project to do with water. It's called Watermarks. <laughs> um, I just want to tell you a bit about it. So Watermarks, an ongoing series of art projects about water with the aim to stimulate interest and a dialogue about water as an essential natural element for life and the role it plays in our lives. We use art instead of information. So what's the difference? Well, art is about meaning via metaphors. It's physical and it's sensual and it's intuitive. Whereas information is literal. It's figures, it's texts, it's data. In the Watermarks projects, we recontextualize information about water into an art context. We want to keep the special mysteries of the natural world, as well as to convey a message about sustainability that will inspire people and affect change. The site specificity of water issues requires a unique combination of general <coughs> themes that are played out in specific contexts. We've had a number of exhibitions about water, and I'll just list them. Um, we had one in Geelong, at the Geelong Gallery called Watermarks Crossings and it was all about the history of flooding along the Barwon River and bridges over it were used as a theme. We had another exhibition in Warrnambool called Watermarks Confluence about the confluence of the Hopkins and the Merry Rivers with the sea and the consequent silting up of the harbour. <coughs> we had another exhibition at Albury called Watermarks Channels about the loss of water in the Murray River. Next, we had a, an exhibition at Sale Regional Gallery called Watermark Swamped, because I felt swamped by information about water by then. Um, but I also felt that um, there were many wetlands um, around Sale, and uh, wetlands or swamps are the drainage systems, the kidneys of the world. And the exhibition was, was about being swamped by both nature and data. And then recently this year we had an exhibition at Castle Main as part of the Castle Main Festival uh, called Blue Gold, which was about rivers of gold and the water that was used in the extraction of the, the gold. And water is now a new blue gold. Water has become artificial, a tradable and scarce commodity in a drought. We adopt a collaborative approach. We research the material talk to the people in the know, the scientists, the water professionals, river people, catchment keepers, farmers, etc., community organisations and government agencies. And then we work out the most appropriate way to address the issues, to make the art. Our practice is interdisciplinary. We use whatever is needed in order to create, to create the effect we want. Photo and print media, installation, light effects, sound and text. We often have to learn how to do things along the way. The Watermarks projects are about water quality, about water as life. In order for water to be given, sorry, in order for water to be seen as life giving, it has to live. It has to be alive. We principally use photo media to both capture and interpret reality and connect with our broad theme of water and life that means life. Water and light that means life. We emphasise the remarkable process of photosynthesis, the necessity of environmental flows, the integrity of catchments, the riparian zone management and the importance of habitats, including our own, both beside the river and in the water. Thank you.